Hello and welcome to Tiny Code Christmas Extra, Day 5. These extra challenges are designed for people who've already completed Tiny Code Christmas, so there may be some concepts that haven't been covered yet on the main challenges. Make sure to check out the website for more details. Today we are going to be taking a look at this, a combination of the Roto Zoom without the zoom that we took a look at yesterday, and a perspective effect reminiscent of Mode 7 on the SNES. Now, a bit different today in that we're going to cover the perspective effect. We've already covered the rotation effect, and part of the challenge for today will be to combine them, and then there'll be further challenges to further challenge yourself. Let's get started. So this is the sample code that we're going to be taking a look at for the tick 80. And this is what we're going to be taking a look at for Pico 8. And again, largely the same, but just in terms of the performance for the Pico 8, we are going to be using the random pixel instead of visiting every single pixel on the screen. So let's take a look at the tick 80 code first. And you can see here I'm picking up a value for T. I'm iterating over every pixel on the screen. For my Z value, which is my depth value, I'm getting the absolute value of Y minus 68, and that is giving me the Y position, minus 68, which centers it. And then I am getting obviously the absolute value of this because it's going to be mirrored. I'm adding 0 0.1 because I need to do some division by Z, as you can see here, and I don't want it to be zero. And then I'm calculating U and V values. So for the U value, I am taking the X coordinate. And again, similarly here, I subtracted half the screen, subtracted half the screen here. If we remove that, you see that the effect is centered up here in the top left-hand corner of the screen put those back in, we are then centering the effect. So I'm taking my x-coordinate and I'm dividing it by z. And again, this will take that z position, divide the x by it, and that will move it further into the center of the screen, the further back that z value is. So the x will start to move forward to the center. And the v is our transformed y value. And the 99 divided by z scales again by a fixed value that's the 99 by the depth and that will create a vertical perspective effect so the closer the so the, uh, the smaller the z value the larger the y value uh, making it appear closer to the screen then we are picking our color and i'm using the transformed x and y uv values i am adding the time to the u value so that it moves horizontally and I'm ending them together for that pattern. And then I'm plotting the pixel and I'm ending the color with 11, which gives us the lovely contrasting purple, orange, and blue palette. And if we go over and take a look at Pico 8, it's incredibly similar. But again, the rendering has changed. So it does 3,500 loops while staying at 30 frames. Per second and obviously I have changed the time value because they're different on tick 80 and pico 8 we have the randomness I have the absolute value and I'm using p set and this is what we get so let's talk a little bit more about our challenge today's challenge is to combine the rotation code from yesterday with the perspective effect from today to create something similar to this, where we have a bit of sky, a bit of landscape, a bit of texture on it, and some rotation. And you can see the origin of the rotation is moving here on one axis. So that is your challenge. Stay tuned to the Discord for evolving extra challenges.